up guys? Today we're back again with another episode of Horror Series and today we're here in Bangsa to check out one of the low-key sneaker heads. Okay, I know that was a very bad part. But okay, let's not waste any more time with puns or anything. Let's go check out what this sneaker head has in his closet. My name is Victor Chan. Yeah. I'm 36 years old this year and I run a event company. What's up guys? Today we're back again for another episode of Hoarder Series and today we have another Jordan head in the house. So okay, what's up man? What's up? Okay, I think we're good. So, uh, could you please uh, introduce yourself? Uh, tell us how old are you and what do you do? My name is Victor Chan. Okay. Uh, I'm 36 years old this year. Alright. And I run an event company. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay, event company. Okay, so today we're going to check out his collection and the first question we all want to know is how many pairs do you have in your collection? And which shoes are they all? Um, that's it. Are you sure? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I feel like, you're trolling me. <laughs> I mean, I have a few more if you want. Okay. Like, oh my god. I mean, there's some here. It's mostly just beaters. Some anyway, here. So. <laughs> 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 so, so wow. Right here. And oh, if you move oh, away, oh, you got a little bit here. That's about Damn. it. Damn, okay. Yeah, so this was what I was actually expecting. <laughs> yeah, this was actually what I was like. Okay, so Victor, yep. which pair actually started everything? Like all of this, the whole setup, the whole room, which the, started it all? The very first pair that I saw that I loved, absolutely loved, was the Black Cement Trees. Okay. And when I saw it on uh, somebody that I used to know's Tumblr <laughs> page, she was scrolling through and I saw this pair and it instantly caught my eye. So I was like, what is this shoe? I need to learn everything about this shoe. All right. So this was the one that started off my love for Jordans. Okay. But the very first pair that I bought were these. <sighs> oh, Son of Son Mars. Mars, right. All right. The very first one, I think, the Son of Mars breads, the one with the flap. And when I first saw this, I remember I was in Canada and it was I saw the you know the, the elephant print from the trees and I was like the fires from the five and it's like oh it's the ultimate shoe it's like every single Jordan that okay. I love in this shoe. You're and a sucker for elephant print. Huh? I'm a sucker for elephant print, but All I don't right. have the atmos yet. So oh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Yet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So judging from the whole collection right here, the first thing I see like a lot of variety. I see boots. I see Jordans. I see Nikes. I see basketball shoes. I see foams. Bands and a lot. Yeah. So like before buying a shoe, right? Actually, what do you actually look for in a shoe? Well, first thing is the look. It's okay. like if it's looking good, if the colorway is right, I definitely will get it lah. Uh, but it can vary upon shoes that I buy as well. Right. If let's like, say something like the Jordan One, something like a classic, like a uh, bread. Yeah. I mean, this is of course like a must cop shoe lah. Yeah. Me. You know what I mean? For a lot of people. For a lot yeah. of people, you know, it's classic, Iconic, it's simple, yeah. right? Or if I want something that's a little bit more wild, which I do, then it's something like the Kobe's. Damn, oh, you got to want the Kobe's. Yeah, okay. the Kobe's, you know, just something a little bit more wild, something that will break necks, you know. Okay. Even if it's not a sneaker fan, at least it was like, what the hell are those, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, right. it's like that wow factor, that right? That wow factor. Or sometimes if I just need something like walking shoes, I have like Boost and Ultra Boost. And then I have like my favorite, like Ultra Boost ATRs, the all right, the, all the all terrain range. ones yeah. with the high cut, uh, mid cut. It was like, this is my ultimate traveling shoe. So it just varies from shoe to shoe, depends on what I'm looking for. All right. Right. Okay, so what don't you like? I don't like things that it's hype for the sake of being hyped. Okay. It's like maybe like the bread was <laughs> it's a nice shoe. Like okay. I love the colorway of the bread. Okay. But, but they say this hype is just because that it's a bread. Michael Jordan's very first shoe, the band mm. shoe, and they don't, you know, it's nothing fantastic about not the, too strong. It's not like too strong. A reason for exactly. it to be that hype. Yeah. Oh, okay. So from that, then I might not consider. And if it's something that's way over my budget, of course, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, the brands are going for really high right exactly. now. Exactly. So yeah, things yeah. like that I might just okay. move away from. Yeah. Okay. So like, I see you have more Nikes than Adidas for sure. Yep. So actually, like, what's one collaboration between Nike and you know whoever that is your favorite? Favorite collaboration ever is actually my Paul George. PlayStations. Okay. Right. And um, just because that it's both 
the PlayStation branding is really evidence on it. You can see like... Are you a gamer? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, okay, I okay. Mean, I brought out the Gears of War gun, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. So, but yeah, it's, you know, from the colorway, it's from the little details on the shoe, it lights up. Yeah, so, yeah. So, it's really something that I feel that PlayStation and Full George like really worked hard to bring both their worlds together. Okay. And that's why I love the shoe. But do you think it's like practical for them to do a PlayStation concept on a pair of basketball shoes since you know everyone's gonna run in them and everything? And oh that? yeah, I mean if you're a gamer, oh. you know, your fingers are already working out already. So All right. on your feet as well. Okay. So <laughs> okay. you have a point, you have a point. Exactly. Okay, so as we already mentioned earlier, right? Like there. There's a whole load of variety to choose from, you know, like I don't even know how you like choose what to wear for that yeah. day itself. I hope you can wear stickers to work, you know, since there's so many you can I wear do. it in I like seven days over there. <laughs> ah, okay. So that's one thing I want to ask you because you're a sport for choice, right? Right. Yeah, so what is actually your go-to shoe? Go-to shoe, easiest is the black cement trees again. Alright. It's low cut, which I like, it goes with pretty much everything. Okay. Black and red highlights, and it's such an easy pair to wear. Let's say maybe one day it's just like, oh, maybe I've been wearing my black cement trees too much. Wear the spoons. Wear the spoons, seriously. Wear the spoons, it goes with anything. Alright. It's like shorts, pants, Everything, casual, right? formal, whatever you throw on, the water spoons will. Okay, match. so do you think people should believe the hype for the water spoons? Oh, definitely. Believe the hype okay, on the water the spoons. Alright. <laughs> okay, so we all know that. Behind every pair, there's a story behind it on how you got them, every why you like it, pair. everything. Yeah, exactly. So, what is actually the toughest pair for you to actually cop? My toughest pair to cop was actually my Joker tree. Uh, this is one of my very first few in my collection that I got. Okay. And when I was staying in Canada, I just moved back to Malaysia. And I saw this, I tried to get this. I actually have one pair of this in Canada somewhere. Somewhere? It's in a friend's house that's sitting in the basement. It's probably rotting, probably the, the midsoles are already gone already, you know? Okay. But it was so hard to cop. Um, I was looking on eBay for a good price and everything like that. Yeah. And then there was a shop called Kixify. Okay. Right? Kixify, uh, yeah. There was an online shop and I was like, okay. I found it for a decent price, managed, I negotiated with a guy, he said he wanted like 50 US dollars for shipping, it's like, can you bring it down to 30, it's okay. like, oh no, I can do 40, and ended up I had to pay 50 anyway, <laughs> alright, so not only that, when okay. I got the shipping, everything was done, mm. it was sent to customs, so I had to go myself and collect it, and it was my first time ever collecting a shoe, I was like, from customer, I've already paid like 250 USD for this already, and then you had to pay extra, <laughs> pay extra for customs, and then they saw the price, like, oh, 250 dollars USD, you need okay. to pay the customs and everything, I was like, yeah, so it was a long time and I love these are my favorite colors, the purple, the black and the green. That right. is my absolute favorite color. I think they pulled off the concept really well. Really right? well. And okay. um, it actually reminds me more of actually the dragon from Maleficent. Alright, okay. Right. I haven't black. really watched the movie yet. Right. But, so, yeah. but the original Disney cartoon. Oh, okay. Okay. So it has the, the green, it has the black and it's the purple. Okay. So that is actually what I love and then they call it the Joker concept I was like, I have to have this. Okay. So we've already like gone through like the toughest shoe to get. Toughest shoe. So which is actually your biggest steal? All right. Easiest to cop and All right. biggest steal was actually these pairs of Concords. Okay. I got this in Japan at Kskit. Oh, so Kskit, yeah, Kskit is big. Kskit is yeah, a K -Skit huge is really store. And I remember it was sitting in a case just like that one over there. All right, okay. And I was looking at it and I saw the price it was like 200 USD. Oh, that's cheap. 200 USD for DS pair. DS. DS. What year was that then? This was in 2013. Oh, okay. So, it yeah. was like a few years already. A few years back. And it's in fact the same price that I paid for my very first pair of Son of Mars. So, okay. <laughs> so it's like for iconic pair. For an iconic pair that was sitting on a shelf. Brand new. Brand new. Alright. At K-Skid in Japan, I was like, dude, I have to have this already. Lah. Okay. Well, uh, luckily you got enough. Yeah, time. so <laughs> this was definitely the biggest deal for me. Now, if you had to sell your whole collection oh. and you need could keep three pairs, Bro, what, what would it that? be? I mean like, <laughs> you never know man, why you never know. Do that? Only three pairs. Like, three okay, pairs? No, 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 you can find yeah. I mean, that's why I have them in this, you know, case right here. Alright. Probably my PlayStations, because right. okay. that represents me as a gamer. Okay. Shattered backboards, just because it's shattered backboard quality. Oh, okay. <laughs> SBB quality. Right. And the wooden spoons, because they go with freaking anything. Freaking yeah. Oh, it's so it means you just recently got your grill? Uh? Recently got one of my grills. The shortest period of thirst 
and the easiest cop to get. get in the, you know, less than I'm, a week. I'm guessing you got retail, right? I got it at retail. I won the raffle at retail. JD. Team retail. Shout team out retail? to JD. Team retail. Oh, team retail. <laughs> team retail. And, okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's three. Okay, so uh, how much would you value your collection right now? And how much do you think by the end of the year, your collection will grow and do this to, you know, how big? Yeah. My collection is worth like a MasterCard ad. Priceless, bro. Oh. <laughs> okay, so um, maybe? Yeah. Um, maybe it's about 150,000 at least. 150,000 at least? Yeah, okay, at, at least. least. Okay. I mean, conservative here. It's like maybe 750 ringgit a pair times 200. Alright, okay. Yeah. So what was your latest cop actually? Latest cop would probably be my Vaporfly. Uh, 4%. These are 197. 197, guys. 197, 197 pair. 197 pair. Uh, 198. Eight is on the way, 199 is also on the way. Ooh, one okay. from StockX and the other one, uh, you know, when it's a little dark, there's a little bit of light and, oh. you know, it's a little bit of floor. <laughs> shadow, shadow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. So, okay. yeah, 197 pairs, 150,000. Okay, so we have reached the end for this episode of Horror Series with Victor. Wait a minute. You're not, you're not ending yet. I see something down there. Yeah. Yeah, Victor. I'm sure nobody has this in their collection right now. Oh my god. So these are the Ronald McDonald 11s. <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, this is Ronald McDonald's actual shoe. So this oh. is part of my work as well. Okay. So I work with Ronald McDonald quite for real. I right, do okay. organize the events, which is why I'm in events. And uh, yeah, I bet you don't have these. What size are these? Sorry? Um, size big. <laughs> okay. So large lah. Large. large. <laughs> okay. Large. Now, we truly have reached the end for this episode of Horror Series with uh, Victor. Thank you so much for showing us. Thank you very much. Like the entire collection and everything. So, we'll see you again next time. Hi, my name is Victor and thanks for having me on the Horror Series.